Hi Leo, welcome to your mid-February general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Leo. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind to only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. Hi cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in the Leo. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Leo and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid, and this means if you feel like the roles are flipped or reversed for your specific situation, you're more than welcome to use your discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your story the best. So let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl to clear and set the energy. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. Leo, interesting. For you guys, I saw what first started off to be a moon at night. You could be dealing with a cancer. You could have strong cancer in your chart. Of course, it doesn't have to be the case. But then the moon was starting to, like, you know, go down over the horizon, and the sun was coming up, which is your ruling planet as a Leo. So I almost feel as if with the moon, there was some aspect of your love life, whether it's with a specific other person or just in general of uncertainty, mysteriousness, confusion, and I don't know, Leo, I just feel that era's over for you. I wonder if you are kind of done with people who aren't straight up with you, aren't gonna, you know, give you a legitimate answer, and that type of energy is just not going to be present in your life anymore. You want people that are going to be honest, that are going to be not shady, I guess. I, it just feels that way for some of you guys, but with the sun, maybe... If someone was afraid to come out and say something, afraid to do something or express something in a way, I feel there's going to be something illuminated in your life, Leo, that's going to make you very, very happy. And of course, this is a love reading, so it's definitely specific to your love life. Whether someone finally says something, whether you meet someone that is just like a breath of fresh air, let's go ahead and kind of dive deep into this. That could just be a small message for some of you. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say. So tell me more about this energy in Leo's love life spirit. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. Yeah, so okay, for some of you guys, that specific message was about kind of pulling away from the confusion or the people who give you confusion in your love life, who text on and off or who say they're going to come over and then end up flaking on you. You know, Leo, I feel you're pulling back from that and I think it's healing you detaching from people in romantic situations that are just more mysterious, want to leave things hanging than trying to pursue something actively, than just being out there. Um, the letter R is sticking out to me as in Rachel, Ryan, first, middle, last, initial can mean something to someone. But I feel if, Leo, you did do the retreating, you did the, do the pulling back, someone felt it. And someone was surprised that you walked away. Even if for you, it makes all the sense in the world. And maybe for most people, they really didn't think you were going to leave like that. But you're just done with the guessing games. You're done with trying to get information out of someone. You're try done trying to push it someone to do something where you feel as if if you're interested, if you want me, you know where I'm at. You know my number. You can call. I'm done trying to make anything happen. It felt very one-sided, Leo. And I think that's why you retreated. Let's keep going. But I, yeah, I feel this retreat, although you're kind of bummed maybe if you felt like you wasted your time or if you felt like, you know, it didn't turn out in the way you hoped for, something feels relieving about it. Something feels as if, okay, now I don't have to worry if I send a mex message out when they're going to text back. I'm doing me. A lot of you are doing some self-love, some self-healing, and some, some growth that is noticing, that a lot of people are noticing. The golden mirror, okay, 
self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship and love bombing. The one-sided relationship is what's really sticking out for me and has been that I've been picking up on intuitively through this reading. Yeah, I just feel as if, Leo, someone really relied on the attraction between the two of you, specifically physical with this mirror here. Um, you know, they may find themselves to be very good looking, they may work out, they may keep up their appearance, but I don't know. For you, it only goes so far surface level type of attraction. I do feel with that moon in the beginning, you're looking for more depth and you felt as if this person couldn't give that to you. And yeah, I do feel for some of you guys, you were dealing with someone that was a bit self-centered, self-absorbed, wanted things on their own time, their own way, thinking that you would always compromise. Mm -mm. They had another thing coming and I feel, Leo, when you really started to see that they weren't going to change, that's when you guys kind of decide to tap out. But I think it's, it's hit their ego in some way. I think it's kind of made them feel rejected. And they're not happy with that. I do feel as if now they're kind of stewing, trying to find a way to get you to come back or to get you to be interested again. But it feels very subtle. It feels very elusive. So maybe, again, just watching your social media or maybe just trying to send their energy out to you from a distance you're picking up on, but you're trying to brush it off. Because what's the point if you're still not going to give me what I want in this? And they may be trying to tell other people, Leo, that you are the self-absorbed one, that you ghosted them or whatever, and that's really not the case here. What do they want to tell you? I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. Yeah. I think, you know... In their higher selves, in that aspect that may be a little bit overshadowed a bit, they really are starting to see that they play themselves. And where they thought, you know, they had the upper hand, where they thought that you were waiting for them or going to wait for them, they were very mistaken. And they don't see you texting back. They don't see you reaching out. They don't see you calling back. So now they're starting to really see that you've retreated fully. And I think they kind of miss you in their life, Leo. Again, we'll pull more cards to see if that's at, in a deeper level or more of an ego boost that you always gave them. I do feel, you know, with this golden mirror, they did find you to also be very attractive. I feel as if for some of you guys, I'm like looking at this heart in the golden mirror and maybe you guys started your uh, connection online, specifically through Instagram, but really it could be through anything. But let's see what the tarot has to say. With the tarot, I'm going to ask how do they feel about you? What do they think of you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection that they have with you currently? And what do they not like about it? And what are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to this connection with you? What are they really hoping is going to happen and unfold? And what are they afraid of is going to happen between the two of you? Okay, well, we have the Two of Cups and how they feel about you. They think they're emotionally bonded to you. They think that there is some sort of connection here that they still feel very strongly for. But what they think of you is the Four of Swords. You are just not interacting. You're not communicating. You're kind of shut off, especially with the Nine of Wands here, of what they don't like about you. And I think, yeah, you're just really serving them. Give me what I want or leave me alone. That type of energy. And I don't know. They really just thought their schemes, their mechanisms was working. It wasn't. It was just pushing you away. So bottom of the deck, we have the four of wands. Aries energy. You could be dealing with an Aries. There's someone with strong Aries in their chart. does not have to be the case. So... I feel with this Four of Wands more so than you guys being in a relationship that you thought that this could end up that way, but it didn't. I do wonder if you guys spent a lot of time at their house, used to kick it. I'm seeing someone is having like a basement that was the hangout spot, random messages for a few of you, but it's for someone out there. You guys maybe spent a lot more time the last four months trying to see if this was going to go anywhere. Maybe really, Leo, some of them kind of gave you the false hope of, you know, one day I'll be ready for this, but for now I still need more time. 
I do feel with the Four of Wands for some of you guys. I feel someone who is a bit picky. And I'm not saying that in a way where it's like someone knew what they wanted and wasn't going to settle for less. But I don't know. I just feel with this Four of Wands, they were looking for that perfect other half, that perfect, you know, partner that could be someone they see with in a long term, not just for material success, not just being a power couple, but someone that they feel like they can have a lot of fun with, that they can be themselves with, that they can just let go of that. And this person just didn't hit that mark. So I feel as if, Leo, when you kind of were starting to see more and more that this person wasn't going to be in a partnership with you, when this person wasn't heading towards that type of romance that you want to have, that's when you guys started to retreat or are already retreating. I feel as if you're trying to look for that long-term partner. You, Whether it's like settling down in the traditional sense of getting married and having kids or just being with someone that you feel you guys are in alignment with each other that you can have a long-term relationship with, the more they played those games, the more they were evasive, the more you were seeing this wasn't your person. But I got to say, Leo, there's something about you that makes them still feel like there's more to this because how they feel about you is two of cups. Cancer energy. So they still have care for you. They still feel as if you guys are going to work out, that there's still a bond here that is very much cemented emotionally between the two of you. And they feel like they're relying on what you guys have developed thus far to still keep you going. But the problem is, is that I feel as if it wasn't until you left, they realized the lack of compromise. They lacked trying to do what they can to sacrifice a bit of their own self-interest, their own way of doing things to be a true partner with you. I am feeling someone with warm hands. You guys may have used to hold hands a lot and they miss holding your hand. I don't know. Or maybe you guys measured your hands against one another before. This is just all confirmations for someone. But they still very much feel as if this is not over between the two of you, uh, over between the two of you truly. And that, I don't know. I think they're really starting to see the air of their ways and, an aspect they didn't or want to see before. Maybe because they were used to having you around. But interesting, I mentioned that sun over the horizon, and here it is in the background of this card, right? Maybe it took you walking away for them to really see how much they cared about you. But is that enough? What we have here is the Four of Swords of what they think about you in this connection right now. So there's two fours. Your birthday could be August 4th, August 14th, perhaps July 24th for some of you guys. You could be seeing a lot of fours, 44, 444 4, 4 from the universe here. But yeah, they think you need your space right now. They think that you are retreating for sure from this. They think that you're ignoring them. They think that you haven't replied to their text messages, their phone calls. They think that you are just not the same as far as wanting to work on this again, put more forward to this. And with this four of swords, it is your silence is driving them crazy. But I don't think that's the factor that's going to be the ending for them. With this four of swords, they think that the silence is only temporary, that eventually you'll come around, that eventually you'll wake up to this again. So what they like the most about you, Leo, is the two of wands. So now there's two twos, August 2nd, August 12th, July 22nd could be someone's birthday, 222 could be a major confirmation you've been seeing or they've been seeing. But yeah, Leo, you are the person who is action oriented. You see something, you want it, you go for it. You don't see the sense of beating around the bush. You like people that are just as passionate as you are. 
that doesn't take too long to decide what they want to do in anything. You kind of just go for it and see what happens. And this person may find you a bit impulsive, spontaneous, but a lot of fun, adventurous, almost in a lot of ways. And they always felt before this, you know, retreat that you've been going through or that they've been experiencing with you that you were the person that made the initiative. You did like to make plans. You did like to reach out before when they would go silent. But that's not the case anymore. I mean, what they don't like about you right now is the Nine of Wands. Sagittarius energy. Your guard is up. They feel like you're fed up with this. Some can see the reason why others think you're being dramatic or that, you know, you're just being defensive and blocking out for not a great reason. Again, I think there's some sort of level of denial they've had about their actions up until a point where you really had to go silent with them. And they're, they're a little bit hurt by the fact that you retreated. It definitely hurt their ego. But, you know, with this card here, I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. They're realizing they're not getting the same Leo that was excited about this, that was passionate about this, that was there, that always texted back, that always called back. They sense the wall now. And they see you're being stubborn about it too. You're holding your ground. You're holding your boundaries. And it had to... It's unfortunate it had to take this route for them to really see who you were, what you were going to tolerate, and what you weren't. Someone could have a scar on their face or a scar on their neck or around this area here. What they like the most about this connection is the Ace of Cups. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So they did feel the love from you, Leo. They did feel the devotion. They did feel the care. And you know what? I think this may surprise you for some of you guys, but I think you really did activate a part of their heart chakra that hasn't been activated before. I really do feel as if they view you as the person that they first fell in love with or first started developing serious feelings for. A depth that was very new to them. So maybe that's why they didn't know how to navigate the emotions they were feeling, but they did it in a not so great way. Instead of like feeling the love and feeling the intensity and going for it, they tried to avoid it in a lot of ways. But with this Ace of Cups, yeah, they can't deny that there was a beginning of a beautiful love that was unfolding between the two of you that they didn't take the opportunity of. Or, you know, again, I'm just getting this energy and feeling from looking at the cards here that they just took it for granted or thought it was just always going to be there just because it started to unfold. But again, Leo, you're not the type of person that does anything halfway and you don't expect others to either. What they don't like about this connection is the Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. So, yeah, they think a lot of ways I feel the Seven of Swords could be a card of avoidance, of avoiding communicating, avoiding being upfront. And I don't think, Leo, that you're the type that likes to, again, just silently close out on people, but you do it when you see that being upfront isn't enough. When you try to get someone's truth out there and they just refuse, that's when you pull away. And I feel with the Seven of Swords, this is part of what you didn't like about the connection either. What I was kind of feeling with that moon energy and what I saw in the beginning of the reading, just the evasiveness, just the one day they're going to be really texting you, calling you, wanting to know what they you're up to, what you're doing, sending you good morning texts, those smiley emojis, and then the next go cold. 
And then when you confront them about it or ask them about it, they were never direct. They were never answering you that in a way that made sense. So again, the guessing game was over and you hated the guessing game of this whole thing. So you were wondering if there was someone else. You were wondering if, you know, their true intentions was what you were kind of looking at this whole connection with, of being something more exclusive, of being something more real. But now that you kind of retreated, they see you as being the Seven of Swords. That you're not, you know, you're trying to play a game now back at them. Maybe that's not even the case, but that's how they may see it. And that you have a truth that you're just not willing to share with them right now. But how can you feel safe sharing your truth when you feel they're not doing the same for you? Just a lot of unanswered, unknown, or even shadiness is kind of what drove you away, Leo. Your highest hopes with you is the Ten of Cups. Pisces energy. And you know, Aquarius had this card in the same exact position. But anyway, yeah, I feel with this Four of Wands and Ten of Cups, in some way they really thought they had it in the bag with you. Um... And that they thought everything that has happened was enough for this to really cement it. So they're really hoping, again, based on the emotional bond they had with you, the connection that's flourished, and the feelings they have, they're hoping that that is what's going to be the resilient factor of this temporary situation they may be feeling they, they're going through with you right now. And that you guys will get back together. And that, I don't know, they do definitely view you as husband-wife material. They definitely do view you as the type that they can take home to their family, introduce to their family, and that their family would be very impressed by. I do feel as if their family members liked you, Leo, and they thought that you were a good match for them. But they're hoping to have the Ten of Cups back with you and that this really isn't over. But their deepest fears is the Page of Swords. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And I also feel this is your fears. For them that you're just going to stay silent. You're not going to reach out. You're going to hold back. Even if they make initiatives to try to communicate with you or make advances towards you, you won't respond. And I think not responding is what is driving them the most crazy or hurting them the most. But you may have felt like you said all you had to say. What more is there to say if you're not going to make the initiative to change as well? You, you don't like the immaturity of this person at times, especially when it comes to communication. But yeah, your fear, I feel, is if you give them another shot, give them another chance, this Page of Swords energy is just going to continue. You know, just immature communication, not saying what they mean, holding a lot back, not being real with you. And the spying, too. Again, I think... Definitely what you've noticed, if you haven't talked with them again, you've definitely noticed that they have been checking in on you, whether that is your social media, whether that is asking about you, whether that even may be like driving by your home to see if your car is there. A little bit of spying going on. And I feel like they're afraid that, you know, in order to just see what you're doing, what you're up to, that because you're not talking or texting back, that they'll have to go in inspector gadget mode and try to get more information out of where you're at and if you've moved on, spying on you in your life from a distance. All right, Leo, to see a likely outcome of the situation, what is likely to happen from now to the end of the month? Are they gonna do anything? Are they gonna let it fall apart? We're gonna go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm gonna overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome of this situation and pull some more cards as well to dive deeper into this whole connection. So if you still have unanswered questions, let's get them answered in the extended reading. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where I depart, Leo, I really hope that this reading has given you some clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to whatever is going on in your love life at this time. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Leo, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Leo.